Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to talk about quick, se quick selection tool. The shortcut is W. If you haven't watched the magic wand tool tutorial, please go ahead and do so before while completing this tutorial. It will help you understand how it works better. Okay, so we're going to start with our options up here for the quick selection tool. The first icon is for a new selection. The second one is add to selection and the third one is subtract from selection. When I'm using this tool, I like to have on add to selection as a default. And the brush size, I'll choose the brush size according to what I'm working with. And for this example, I can go like, like pretty big, like a couple hundred. Or I can just keep it like even 30 or 70. So I'm going to work with uh, about 70 pixels for the diameter and 100% hardness and 25% spacing you can change it depending on how you are what you're trying to accomplish and I'm trying to select the background or the actual object and remove it or separate them so in sample all layers I explain in the magic wand tutorial auto enhance I really don't know what it does it says that it automatically enhances the selection the selection edge and refine edge this is the same as the magic wand tool so you may want to go back and watch that if you have it already okay so the difference between the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool is the quick selection tool it's, it's a brush and you treat it like a brush you can uh, click one place and drag it and it's going to start to select uh, why, like any color, and it's where I, where it's passing over is adding that to the possibility colors that's going to be selecting. So as I drag it more, it's, it starts selecting more pixels around that are like similar to the color. So I need to make sure I'm working on the correct layer. So this right here can save a lot of time. As you can see, it's uh, like we already done. I already selected the background. So now I can Control Shift I to invert, and then Control C to copy, and Control V to paste, and now we have now we have this is the end result. And. That's it for this tutorial.